Artificial intelligence is coming for you and your jobs. Join us or per 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 perish. I created everything you just saw with artificial intelligence in CapCut. Let me show you how to do it before I replace you. I have not had this much fun editing in a very long time. The new AI features in CapCut are absolutely insane. They're nuts. Better watch out, they are coming for your job. You're fired. Pretty soon all you're gonna have to do is write a script. Oh, oh wait, you won't have to write a script because CapCut's gonna do that for you too. Check this out. We'll select text, select default text, drag it to the timeline, and once it's in the timeline, in the text window here, we can you know type a script if we want, or we can just click on this little icon and choose AI Writer Beta. And we see that we have multiple options. We can have a talking script like we're doing here. I better slow down, I'm all excited about this. Or an ad script where you can give it a product name and give it selling points. We just want a talking script for a video. So we're gonna click talking script. We're gonna enter a prompt, something like that. We'll click this right arrow and it will immediately start generating scripts. Here's one, the date was announced that AI would take over the world and take all human jobs. The world was left in shock. If you don't like that one, you can just go to the next one or the next one. And if you don't like that, it will generate more scripts for you by hitting next. Hey, that one's short. Let me just show you what it does. You just hit add to track and it will immediately add the script to your track. Now there's, there's <laughs> so much more we can do with this. The script it spits out may or may not be precise, but you can modify the script. And if you are not a native speaker for the language you're creating the video for, it's going to be immensely helpful. For our sample open video, I wanted a much shorter script, so I just wrote a couple lines which look like this. My goal for this video was to use nothing but CapCut and its artificial intelligence to create that sample video. What if you need images maybe for a background for your video and you don't own any stock images of say the interior of a spaceship, you can just jump on your phone and do this. In the top right, it says expand. We're gonna click on that. And in the top fourth from the left, it says text to image. And notice this is a free feature. We click on that. And now we have the ability to create images from our phone right within CapCut. We're going to click on this bottom box, hit the X so that it leaves us room to type. Now below that, we have the ability to adjust some options. I'm gonna click on that. I want it to be either general or anime. I want it to be more realistic looking, so I'm gonna leave it on general. And I can choose the aspect ratio. It's for a regular long form video on YouTube, so it's gonna be 16 by nine. And I can also adjust the quality by dragging the quality slider all the way to the right. I'll hit the check mark, and then I'll just give it a prompt. Now, I've gotten more comfortable just talking into my phone instead of typing. So I'm gonna click the microphone down here and say, create the interior of a futuristic spaceship from a very wide angle. There should be a planet outside the windshield, comma, very visible, comma, surrounded by bright stars. And then you hit generate. You're not always gonna get exactly what you want. The output really depends on the input. So you're gonna to wanna to play with it so you get good at creating good prompts. I don't love these. It doesn't look like we're in outer space, so I'm gonna modify it. The ship is in deep space, comma, and not close to the planet, period. The entire planet is visible in the windshield. That's much closer to what I was looking for. So let's say I liked this one in the top right. I click on it, I choose upscale, and that gives me a higher resolution version of it, but it's not really fully upscaled yet until you click on it again. This is how to get the highest resolution out of it. Then I just hit save and it saves it to my phone. Now these images out of CapCut still aren't super high resolution, but they're usable and it's just gonna be getting better and better. You do wanna make sure that you make it full screen first like this, otherwise when you save it, it'll be like half the resolution. Let me just show you a couple other options. I got stuck playing with this for a long time last night and today, and you're not gonna to wanna to put your phone down once you start messing with this. Woman holding a futuristic camera on Mars. <laughs> what? A duck at the helm of a large ship. There probably aren't too many images like this on the internet that you could find. So if you need one, bam. And of course, we're never done until we ask for Jennifer Lawrence standing next to the skeleton from the original Terminator movie. Wow. And now I tried the exact same prompt in both Mid Journey, kind of the original OG image generator, and also in CapCut, I got this image out of Mid Journey. It's kind of the best it could do. Then I got this image out of CapCut, which looks considerably better, messed with a little more, and I also got this image, plus the one that you saw. CapCut's AI image generator is creating usable images right now. You could also consider using them for things like your thumbnails. Now let's jump back into CapCut PC. I've taken a couple of those images I made on my phone and brought them into CapCut. And right here we have our background. 
This will be the main background for the video we create. Now let's make our text visible again and make sure it's highlighted. And if you come over here, we have a new feature which is freaking amazing AI characters. This is built into the free version of CapCut. Watch this, you click on AI characters and you wait a second and then boom, you have all of these characters with different voices in different positions that will speak your script. Now, if you don't see AI characters up here, it's because you haven't selected any text in your timelines. You gotta have some text in the timeline for these guys to show up. So let's say we want one of these people to speak it for us. Let's scroll down to, let's say, Grace Walking. Hi, good to see you. And if we like her, we just click on Add and then it will immediately generate the speech and generate the image that we want. Let's see how Grace does right out of the box here. Artificial intelligence is coming for you and your job. Join us or perish. Dude, that's kind of that's kind of terrifying. If you want to change things, all you do is click on Grace, the image of your AI character. You go over here to audio and you can change the voice by clicking on voice changer. And you've got a bunch of voice characters built in. You also have some voice filters and some speech to songs. They can do some singing for you, so you can mess with that if you want. We're just gonna stick with our little normal British sounding female here. Now let's use what we've learned to create that open. You'll notice that Grace is walking and the background's doing nothing. So we want it to make it appear that she's walking forward. So what we'll do is click on the spaceship down here and we're gonna set a keyframe for scale at the very beginning. We're gonna to go to the end and set another keyframe. And if we go back to the beginning, we're gonna scale this up so that as she walks, it appears that she is getting closer to us and walking away from the windshield. We're also gonna scale Grace up a tiny bit just by clicking on her and bumping her scale up a little bit. And now it looks like this. Artificial intelligence is coming for you. We're gonna rough out the rest before we make this look a little more fancy. Let's go ahead back into media and we had a planet exploding in that first thing, so let's add our planet. It would be nice if those stars were twinkling there, so what I'm gonna do is cut out the planet and put some moving stars behind it. To do that, I'm gonna click on the planet, I'm going to go over to mask, select the circle, and I'm gonna scale it up and keep this thing totally centered until it looks about right about there can work. So we have this image of Earth here, but there's no stars. Oh, I don't, I don't, have any pictures of stars or videos of stars? Well, over here in media, we can click on library and say stars and type we want videos and we want it to be just landscape. And then we can find maybe a star field that we have access to right here within CapCut. I don't know, what about this guy here? Go ahead and click and drag it to our timeline and we're gonna put the planet on top of it so that the stars appear behind it. And when we click on it, Whoa, it looks like there's stars around the planet. But we want this planet to blow up. So to have it blow up, we should probably have it smaller. So we're gonna go over to basic and scale it down a little bit. And it'd be kind of cool if the planet was maybe moving a little bit and coming towards us. So what we're gonna do is set a keyframe here for scale and rotate. And then we're gonna come forward all the way to the end of the clip, back one frame so we can actually see it. And we're just gonna rotate it a tiny bit, not a lot, just to give a little bit of motion. And then, scale it up just just a little bit. In fact, I want it to start maybe a little bit smaller. So we're gonna just scale it down a tiny bit here and then space, the final frontier. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool so far, right? Now we want the planet to blow up, right? Because AI is taking over to blow us up and stuff because they're, you know, they're probably living on some other planet by now. So we're gonna go over back to media and we're going to choose explosion because you can never have enough explosions in a YouTube video. What? Oh, here's one. Let's just drag this baby on top. Actually, that's pretty cool. Let's see what it looks like. So let's have it start like maybe right there. Bring it to the beginning. It's kind of going a little bit slow, so we're just gonna speed it up. I'm gonna just make sure it's highlighted, click on speed, maybe double the speed, 2x the speed, so it's Yeah, it's a pretty great explosion, right? Now the problem is we can't see the planet. What do we do? It would be nice if it was on a green screen and you can download explosions from the internet and green screen them so it'll key out a little better than this. Key out means remove the colors you don't want to have on screen. But we're gonna click on this guy and select video, select cutout, choose chroma key, collect this little eyedropper here and just select some black space, turn up the strength a little bit and bam, 
There we have Earth. What? Boom. There's Earth exploding and coming through there. But we want the Earth to be gone by the time we get here, right? So right when you start to see Earth, I'm going to make Earth go away. And then it'll be like, whoa, Earth completely evaporated. And that would look like this. I'm telling you, this stuff is blowing my mind. Now we want to make Grace look more like an AI to do that. Luckily, CapCut has some insane effects built in. You're not going to get effects like this built into Premiere or even After Effects. It's going to take a lot of work or some plugins. But right in CapCut, we just click on Effects. And there's, you know, this Pro one's pretty cool. But there's some stuff that looks amazing. How about Spectral Scanning? Let's see if that works. I'm going to drag it on top of her and see what it looks like. Artificial intelligence is coming for you. Whoa, that looks great. Let's go ahead and bump the speed up so it's happening faster. Artificial I mean, intelligence is coming for you. Android. That is like exactly what an AI would look like, don't you think? Now we can do the same thing for the background. Let's go ahead and find another filter for the background. Oh, look at that one. Let's drop that on the background, see what happens. Artificial intelligence is coming for you. And your job. Join us. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and try the pro, pro one just for fun. Hollow scan. We'll put it on her first. Artificial intelligence is coming for And we'll put it on the background. And maybe might be too much. Let's see. Artificial intelligence is coming for you. Maybe I'm just going to click on it here and get rid of the Blu-ray scanning one because I think we just need the one. We don't want to overdo it. And I'm going to just turn her audio off for a second so we can just watch. Dude, I, I freaking love that. Let me just show you one more thing to make this a little more fun. So when it explodes, the Earth, of course, would shake off its axis to make it kind of fun. Let's go ahead and add a shake. We've split the Earth right here so it appears on the screen for a second before it shakes. To make it shake, we click on this second Earth, click on Animation, make sure In is selected. And then there are a few options that we could use to make the Earth kind of lose its mind. We select Collision or Turbulence or Shake. Turbulence looks kind of cool. And it would look like this. <laughs> it's kind of extreme, but you know, it's fun. Uh, last, let's go ahead and add one sound effect, and I'll just do the rest by myself after. But to add a sound effect, we just go to audio, we click on sound effects, we type explosion. And let's see how this one sounds. Big explosion sound of anime and science fiction. I think that's right up our alley. And we can see on the waveform where the explosion actually starts. So we can have it start right there when the fire starts or when it wobbles, either way. And then we get something more interesting. Maybe there's a little delay in the audio reaching our ears because we're in deep space, you know? So maybe this would be better. Polishing this up a little more using just what I taught you in CapCut, we got the video you saw at the open. Artificial intelligence is freaking nuts right now and you need to jump on the bandwagon. But if you just want to be Mr. Beast when you grow up, I know I do. Watch this video so you can learn how to edit like the greatest YouTuber of all time.